Alright, so what we got here is a uh, BX, okay? Now, uh, I see a square root and I see a cos, and then I think we, we can extend this to three. We can extend this to three different functions, right? So let, let, let's start off really easy here. What's the outermost function, do you say here? What's the last thing that's added? I'd say x multiplied by root 2. Or, hmm, actually, maybe not. Give me a second. x multiplied by 2. That's multiplied by 2 would be the first function, wouldn't it? Square root it would be d. Second function. And cos it would be d. Third function, wouldn't it? So if I laid it down like that, I, I can get the answer here, okay? So let's try it out. Uh, the first function is fx, is it? So I say fx equals 2x. Get your input and multiply it by 2. Second function would be uh, gx. And I say that equals the square root of x. Whatever your input is, square root it. And the third one, which is uh, hx, what do you reckon? Cos x. And I think that will all link up nicely. If you, if you were to go through it, start to finish, you're basically going to be uh, fx is 2x, and then you're going to get g2x, which would be root 2x, and then you're going to get a uh, h of root 2x, which is cos root 2x. We good? Oh, you know. You now, all right, on the 16, with G. 16. All right, let's. So, what we have here is fg of x. So, we're going to do the f function using the input of the g function, which is our 3 plus 4x. And then we're going to get that's 2 to the power of 2 plus 4x equals 64. Uh, two ways of doing it. You could put 64 into your calculator and do what? Shift. Fact. Does that work? 2 to the power of? 6. And uh, we got 2 to the power of 6? Okay. And then what you reckon the answer is then? 2 plus 4x equals? 6x equals? 1, doesn't it? Did any of the max bots use logs instead? No? You did? Yeah. Oh, well done. Some clash is a max bot, but respect. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh, I can show you another way of doing this question if you want. Right? The other way would be uh, using log of any log of your choice. Okay? So, uh, I'll just. Use the standard log if that's okay, log 10, log base 10. So I'll use log base 10, 2 to the power of uh, 2 plus 4x equals uh, log, uh, what's a 64 base 10. What's the rule about powers and logs? You can bring it up front so I can get 2 plus 4x uh, equals uh, log, I can just say log 2, I don't even need to write in the base 10, do I? Right. And what happens to the log 2? Where should I bring it? Underneath there. Underneath the 64. And what's log 64 divided by log 2? And 6. And we end up with what we end up on the other side, didn't we? We're going to end up with 2 plus 4x equals 6. Fair play, you think of logs. Decent, decent show. And um, 4x equals 4, x equals 1. Right, well, an example is imagine x is 5,000 euro. Okay, imagine x is 5,000 euro. Ever cool with that? It means we sell 5,000 euros worth of equipment in that, in that week. Okay, 0 0.04 of x would be what? 
So 0 0.04 or 5 thousandths would be, what's it, 200 quid. So this represents the 4% commission. Everybody cool with that? It would represent 4, it represents 4% commission. But what's the problem with the answer there? If you sell 5,000 euros worth of equipment, how much are you actually getting the commission on? Are you getting on all 5,000 or are you getting on only 1,000? Why? Exactly. So this means we actually should do the function g first. So we should do g of x first followed by f. Let me give you an example of this, alright? We're going to go back with the 5,000 again. Does that make sense? Why don't we input 5,000? So what we know is if I do 5,000 euros worth of sales, I should only get 4% uh, of a thousand. Does that make sense? So it should only come out with 40 quid. Yeah? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do FGX. Okay, we're going to try this out. And now we're going to do FG 5,000 just to test it out. Okay? Now, FG 5,000. So I'm going to put in 5,000 here. What happens? 5,000 take away 4,000. It gives you. So, G5000 gives you 1000. What does that represent? This, rep this function represents the money that you actually earn the commission on. Does that make sense? This function means the money uh, you make the commission on. Or the money over 4000 euro that you make the commission on. Okay. What does this function represent? It represents 4% of a given value. So, after we do G5000, we're now going to put that into the F function. So it's going to be F1000. And what is F1000? F1000 is 0 0.04 of a thousand, which is... What do we get earlier? We got 40. Okay? So which is the answer? FG of X or GF of X? FG of X, yeah. You need to take away the 4,000 first, and then you need to get 4% of it afterwards. Okay? Now, it wants me to use the composite function to calculate the answer. Everybody cool with that? It wants me to calculate, use, get the composite function and do it all in one step. Now, there's a way of checking your answer here. If I sold 8,000 euros worth, how much, how much of the sales am I getting commission for? Anybody? And would everybody agree it's going to be 4,000 multiplied by 4%, which is 160, all right? So let's do the function what's it there? Uh, F G of X, okay? F G X. Okay, first of all, what's the input for F? F is 0 0.04 of your input. What's your input? G of X, which is X minus four thousand. Alright? Now is everybody happy that F G of X is 0 0.04 times X minus 4,000. Is that cool with you guys? Now, what happens when I substitute the x with 8,000? What should happen? What should the answer be? It should be 160. Because you're making, yeah, exactly. It should be 160. So what happens when I put it in? It's going to be 0 0.04. 8,000 take away 4,000. And we already know that that's going to be 100 ants. 60. Is that alright? Alright. Are you finding these really tough?